Hi! So, I found this game online called... Um... What the hell is this thing? So I found this game, it's called Zombie Survival Quiz. Uh, looks interesting? Let's try it. Question 1. Are you a male or a female? Hmm... I think I'm male. I get in line for a roller coaster. I am too short, tall enough. What length is your hair unstyled? Short? How well can you run? I can run for a while without getting tired. How would you rate your physical strength? Uh, my strength is about average. How would you describe your physical attractiveness? Don't lie now. Uh, what is your body type? Mm, skinny? Are you a heavy sleeper? Uh, a good shake will wake me up. Can you stay awake for extended periods of time? When I'm tired, I sleep. I can stay up, but only with help. Do you get bored easily? Um, I keep myself busy. Have you ever taken something apart to see how it works? Yeah, it's fun to learn what makes things tick. Are you a mechanically... Are you mechanically inclined? I don't know the difference between a pistol and a shoe. I'm a bit of a gearhead. I can fix simple things. What did you do the last time the electricity went out? Uh, I slept. What is usually your role in groups? Worker? When you watch a scary movie, you... Sit quietly and watch, laugh or try to scare other people, get startled and jump, grab other people in fear or scream, leave the lights on or afterwards. Uh, I sit quietly and watch. How much do you eat at buffets? Um, a couple plates. How would you describe your experience with firearms? I fired a gun. Shotgun, actually. It was a, a shotgun and they, they shot out these little flying plates and I... I wasn't even really aiming, so, I, but I hit them. So it's actually really easy to hit things with a shotgun, scarily easy. What is the first thing you do when you meet other survivors? What would I do? Hit on them? Check them for bites? Kill them? Check them for bites? Who am I, Rick Grimes? What is the first thing you do when you meet other survivors? I guess I would say hi. Where do you live? Mm, I live in a rural community. Which is best? A machete? Baseball bat? Crowbar? Carpenter's hammer? A lead pipe? Uh, you see, a machete would be my first choice because it is sharp, but I do want length and girth. You want something that can hit the brain. What is a carpenter's hammer? Let me look up what a carpenter's hammer is, because I'm not really sure. Machete, baseball bat... When I have to say machete... Machete... When an outbreak occurs, where do you go? Well, you don't want to go to the grocery store, that place is going to be packed with crazy people. Military base... Same as grocery store, it's going to be packed. Church... But even more crazy people. Hospital, it's going to be packed. I guess you go home. I would go home. Someone close to you has become a zombie. What do you do? Now it gets interesting. Alright, this game's getting good. Someone close to me. What do you do? Well, my girlfriend is closest to me. What would I do if she was a zombie? Let's look at the options. Shoot myself. I can't kill someone I love. Capture them, maybe there's a cure? Run as far away as possible. They're a zombie now. I'd have to shoot them. Waste them. Well, the last two are kind of the same. But I guess the second to the last has... It's more empathetic. Um... Capture them. Maybe there's a cure. During an outbreak, when do you travel? Uh, night. I don't want to be seen when I'm, like, breaking into houses for spam or Vienna sausage. What? So, question number five is, 56 times 45 millimeter? NATO? NATO is a... It has to be a cartridge. I have no idea. Your friend hurts their leg and can't walk without help. What do you do? 
Friend hurts her leg and can't walk without help. Um, carry them and find a place to hide. Carry them. Look for a place to hide. You decide to travel somewhere. You use... Just walk. Just walk. You, you loot a gun shop. When you leave, you take a... I'm, I'm, I'm down to... I take a handgun or a shotgun. I wouldn't take these other ones. Oh, maybe the rifle. I'm gonna say handgun, because I can carry it easier, and the bullets are smaller, so it makes traveling easier. I'm gonna say handgun. The first thing you do when you enter a building is look for any valuables. Why can't you survive in style? Find the exits and barricade them. Search every room for zombies. Ask if anyone's there. Search every room for zombies. Do you know how to make explosives? I... Uh... I don't... I don't even know how to make a Molotov cocktail. Your clothes are... Tight-fitting. Uh... I don't know, average... I want to say average. When choosing a knife, one with a blank edge is preferred. Serrated or smooth? I'm gonna say serrated because who knows, you might have to like saw through something like a fence or a tree branch or a, a bone. When traveling to a location, larger groups are. When traveling to a location, larger groups are discouraged. I'd wanna like spread out separately so you know, because the bigger the group, the more of a moving target you are, you guys are, like, the more obvious you are. So you want to be traveling in secret, hiding around places, like behind corners. When traveling in a location, larger groups are discouraged. If you have 50 rounds of the following ammunitions, which weighs the least? I think 9, this last one, 9mm, is the least, weighs the least. Do you own horses, and are you an experienced rider? Nope. When preparing to enter a closed room, you should... Quickly open the door and look in. Which is best? An axe, a katana, a revolver, a knife. Um, katana. Because it has reach, and it's sharp. When a zombie... And, it, and it's quiet, unlike a gun. When a zombie is approaching you, it is best to fire upon it when... It is close, so as not to miss. It is far, so as not to risk a bite. Uh, I'd rather shoot it when it's close, so I don't miss. When defending a location, larger groups are... Recommended, yes. Which location is best to fortify? A mall, school, or a store? Which location is best to fortify? Say a grocery store because of food and stuff. When attacking a zombie, one's goal is to uh, destroy the brain. Zombies will eat... Uh, they've eaten animals. As we know from survival of the dead, they eat horses. Humans and animals. Someone is being attacked by a group of zombies. You decide to distract the zombies so they can escape. See if they're hot. <laughs> Run in and fight the zombies at close range. I would distract the zombies so they can escape. You are surrounded by a group of zombies. You have a hatchet, matches, and a handgun. What do you do? I'm surrounded. I have a hatchet, matches, and a handgun. I'm surrounded. I would use the gun first to get them away, to kill the ones close to me quickly in the brain. And then use the hatchet for anyone that's, that's, that's left. So shoot, then hatchet. Use the handgun, then hatchet when out of ammo. Yes. When zombies detect prey, they shuffle... Oh, there are different types of zombies. There are running zombies, loud zombies, walking zombies. When zombies detect prey, they shuffle quietly after them, scream and run at the prey, moan at their prey. Well, I mean, all of these... Like, does, there doesn't seem to be a wrong answer. I would prefer 
moan at their prey. This is just what I prefer, because it makes it easier on me. Zombies retain memory of their past lives. False. Zombies must eat to survive. False. They eat. They. Who, nobody knows why. They just do. During an emergency, you could treat. I could treat a cut or a scrap, a broken bone, an infection, all of these, none of these. I could treat a cut or scrap. Scrape. Yeah. A zombie's, a zombie's respiratory system doesn't function. Corpses. I've seen them swim in the Italian zombie movie, Zombie. There's a zombie that fights a shark. So that says a lot. Corpses can be brought back to life by zombies. Uh, no? The safety on a gun is usually located by the handle, right? By the grip. When inserting a new magazine in a firearm, you must... When inserting a new magazine into a firearm, you must turn off the safety, I would think. I'm just guessing. A grenade is useful against a group of zombies. True. Oh, my score. Physical rating, B. Your physical survivability, endurance, and strength. Dr. Bismo says, with a little training and exercise, you'll be ready for an undead outbreak. Oh, that's good to know. Mental rating. I got a C. I got a lower rating. Dr. Bismo says, your mental strength and intelligence are unremarkable. It's normal, I guess. Experience rating. Oh, I got an F. Dr. Bismo says, I can only assume that you know what a zombie actually is. Emotional rating D. What the frick? Dr. Bismo says, You are an individual who is totally focused on survival. Emotions only get in your way. Really? I mean, didn't I, like, choose to help people? Total survival rank. Your overall survival grade is A. I would still have an A, though, so I would survive. Dr. Bismo says, Bearing some... Barring? Barring some... Bearing? Barring? Some unforeseen cataclysm, you will survive and pass your invaluable experience and knowledge to future generations. So that's good, I guess. So anyway, that was fun. Um, I would encourage this to be played by zombie fans. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, until next time, bye!